In this video, we're going to look at an example scenario involving inoperative equipment in one of our Cessna Skyhawks. Epic does not use MELs in any of the airplane in our fleet, meaning that the process we go through if we encounter inoperative equipment is that of 91 213 paragraph D or Delta. Imagine this scenario. During pre-flight, you discover that one of the instruments in the cockpit is not operative. In this example, imagine that we discover that the standby attitude indicator is not functioning correctly. In this picture, you can see the red warning flag on the left side. Suppose that we saw this while the engine was running, indicating that the instrument itself is not really functioning properly. The question is, do we need this instrument to conduct a local VFR flight? The first step involves looking at the kinds of operations equipment list in the POH, which you'll find in Section 2, Limitations. A quick look at the table of contents shows that the kinds of operations equipment list is going to be on page 213. Once we find the list, the next step is to locate the specific instrument in question. One quick note is that there is a page involving lighting of many of our instruments. Don't confuse this part with the actual page that concerns the instrument itself. The instrument itself will be in the navigation and pedostatic system section. A look in here reveals that the standby attitude indicator is only required if we're doing an IFR flight. In review, FAR 91213 has four distinct steps that we must go through. If the answer is found in the first step, which is the case in this situation, we don't need to look any further because we know the answer. However, if the instrument or system in question was not found in that first step, we would have to continue through all four of these steps until we know for sure whether the instrument itself is required or not. As a reminder, Airworthiness Directives and the Type Certificate Data Sheet should be checked with the help of your maintenance person. And also, remember, if the airplane you're flying has an FAA-approved MEL, you would not go through these four steps. Instead, you would simply reference what the MEL says and follow the procedures contained therein. What happens next? If the equipment is not required, FAR 91213D requires that it is disabled and placarded inoperative. An example is shown in the picture. If the equipment is required for flight, however, we cannot fly. Further flight may not be initiated with required equipment inoperative.